Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Saturday today. It's snowing. It's December, and uh, let's spend Saturdays with the way we should do, and uh, with a nice warm cup of hot warm beverage and watches. And today I just want to talk to you about. Uh, this watch here you see it's a gorgeous piece um, this is from Spinnaker it's called Fools uh, 15 something 50 uh, I will put the link in the description box there you can find the pricing specs uh, how many millimeters is what and not not so I'm gonna skip all that boring stuff and I just want to talk to you about the watch and uh, uh, the Fools uh, they named the watch uh, after Henry Fuchs, uh, he's uh, uh, regarded as the inventor of the first self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, uh, scuba, in 1878. And uh, so Spinnaker likes to call their watches and pay respects to some of the uh, watches, of, to some of the people, inventors in history uh, that have some certain connection to the diving and world of diving because they make dive watches and they make pretty damn good damn dive watches I just finished filming another video where I talked about tackware some of the people were criticizing tackware for something uh, that it's first first things first uh, before judging any watch you need to you need to experience it, you need to feel it, you need to wear it, you need to have it on your wrist and uh, then then you really can say something about the watch. Uh, I was talking about I recently traded some Seiko for Tagware and I got attacked because people told me Tagware is an all good brand and whatnot and as, what, how it translates to this pinnacle well the currently most famous, um, most favorite watch among the watch newbies and watch beginners uh, in the dive genre is Seiko SKS and it's insane how the watch that got popular and how the prices went up uh, when there are so many cool watches out there that are far better in quality, design movement and everything else that it's, it's ridiculous however today we're gonna talk about the Spinnaker flus or flus and uh, just I want to give you my overall impressions so this watch has 43 millimeters in diameter I will show you later on the wrist shots uh, so you can see it but uh, I think there's a uh, other version with that but uh, also this watch kind of reminds you of some other watch and this space a beautiful homage this bezel to the Blanc Palm 50 Phantoms and it pays a beautiful homage to that watch and I really dig this watch and it's done tastefully and uh, I gotta say the photos and uh, camera doesn't do it really just because in person this watch is really is nicer this is a dark blue dial this is a navy blue dial and there are several different versions from black to gray to I don't know uh, with the, the ones with none uh, but this one here uh, you can see this bezel I just love this bezel it has a it's rounded and it has a I don't know is this plastic or glass I, be I believe this is some kind of acrylic material and uh, the bezel is protected and it's kind of it has a cushion case over it uh, and the numbers and everything else on the bezel is the wound which is very neat also another detail on the bezel is has this rose gold accents and it's a just a smidgen uh, it's not a lot uh, but it's done tastefully and uh, what I think it separates the watch uh, it gives that extra dimension to the watch and uh, 
truly separates it and makes it look more more expensive more eye-catching more appealing and even the in the crown as in that copper rose gold color uh, there is a version without this uh, so you can pick uh, to, to pick the one you like but yeah uh, also another thing I like about this watches and about this brand uh, is how they how they do the dials and uh, let me just show you so I really love how Spinnaker does the dials and even on this one and on lots of other watches they have that uh, texture dial which is I imagine this is not something too expensive to do but so many it sets the watch apart it's ridiculous and it really sets it apart and I haven't seen anything under similar in this price range among these watches at all and of course when we are the dial he has here nice rose gold details because it has a little details again there is a version without this uh, color but I love it I just love a little pop of color it says here spinnaker has a 12 uh, markers uh, the 12 6 and 9 have a little detail and it says here automatic 500 feet or 150 meters so yeah uh, let me just quickly show you the case of this watch uh, it's a brushed brushed stainless steel 316 stainless steel and on the case back here we have uh, displayed uh, what uh, displayed uh, Seiko's NH35 movement with the Spinnaker logo uh, 24 joules and this is very accurate movement I will show you uh, again and we here we have a model number this is Spinnaker SP5055 sapphire and automatic all stainless steel um, beautifully done case uh, it's not too big it's not too small and the watch has that little bit of a taste to it it's not loud it's not obnoxious but it's not a plain Jane it, tr it really is uh, something special so when we are here uh, for the money uh, this watch offers a lot of value this watch uh, on Spinnaker websites retails for 280 bucks if you you can find a discount code uh, you can get 30 percent off uh, I highly recommend you do that so you unscrew the crown the crown is screwed down it's a, it's a sign it has a Spinnaker logo there uh, and uh, when you pull out uh, you can change the date we are here in the middle of the date change so you quickly change the date and on the second pull out you can see the the second hand stop so this movement hex and also you can hand hand wound it uh, let me just put it here so it looks nicer something like this okay and uh, so this movement is hand woundable and it's also hackable that means a lot to you guys it doesn't mean a lot to me but to some of you out there it means a lot i wouldn't uh, recommend uh, wounding uh, automatic watch too much but it's uh, just enough while you are screwing in the crown uh, it will get give it a couple of turns and that's enough uh, in principle uh, automatic watches aren't built for manual wound so if you prefer to manually wound your watches get a manual wound one so this one couple couple of turns and it will save the moment it can stand this is a Seiko's moment it go it can stand a lot of abuse but in general that's abuse that's considered abuse so yeah beautiful watch beautiful band let me just show you this logo and uh, here main sale uh, beautiful band as well on this watch uh, this is a leather band uh, this is a blue one to match the dial 
uh, they have a gorgeous version that I saw on Instagram. You, sh you can check them out on Instagram. They have a gorgeous version, the black uh, version uh, 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 with the brown uh, band and it has that creamy color on the dial, on the indices. It looks very cool, very vintage. So I will probably put a brown band on that one, on this one too, to just to check it out, how it looks like. So my final thoughts and conclusions on this watch is that for the money, this watch offers you great movement, Seiko and HRD5 movement, uh, uh, sapphire crystal, beautiful case, beautiful design, it doesn't look like some Mariner. It's more like a 55 Phantoms or 50 Phantoms, whatever you like. It has a cool bezel. Uh, the loom uh, on this watch, it's one of the things that uh, it's not really uh, quite as good as the C3 Luminova or as a uh, Seiko Lumi Bright, but uh, it will glow in the dark. Uh, very nice, but it won't stay long as the Seiko Lumi Bright. So that's the one thing I don't, uh, if you can call it a fault, but many watches will do that. And, and Tag Heuer or Bright Wings and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's probably C1 uh, or C2, I don't know. So overall, the band is fantastic, looks vintage. The buckle here is very tastefully done. It's a brushed st steel, it says, it says just spinnaker but it's very hefty and very well done. And on the bottom one here, we have a lining. So this watch is a water resistant band and on the sides, it also has a lining. So that's very cool. And I like that because uh, uh, in the summertime, I sweat a lot and there's a lot of water coming to my watches. So I don't want, I don't like that smell of uh, leather. Uh, with sweat and whatnot. So overall, I'm gonna just give you one more wrist shot and we're gonna wrap this up. So yeah, you can see the watch wears beautiful on the wrist and it's a, such a cool and tastefully done piece that I really like it. Really, I'm digging this one and this is uh, the nicest spinnaker I ever had in my possession. So uh, definitely cool watch, great movement, sapphire crystal, uh, cool design. The bezel lights up as well. It's illuminated and it's protected. There's a lot of things going on for this watch. So uh, it's a cool addition to your collection and uh, it's very well done. So thank you for watching. I mean, DC Gunner, uh, please, if you have some spinnaker watches, do share your experiences in the comments down below. Do you like them? How are your experiences with them? And I'll catch you on the next one.